Hey, what's up guys? My name's Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny video. I'm still ill and I just cannot do my intros properly. It's unbelievable how long I've been ill for now. I think it's been about two weeks and it's really slowing down my recording and uploading time and uh, just makes these commentaries 100% worse than they ever have been because I just cannot pronounce anything properly. But today we are going to be doing the Zer's Weekly Exotics run and we're going to be seeing what he's got for us this week. I think it's like week 72 of Destiny, so hopefully he's got some good things for us at last. I do have 26 strange coins so hopefully we can uh, buy some really good things with that and let's see what he's got. I'm usually less pimped out than this but I've been playing Trials of Osiris and just decided to equip my Amkara's Grasp because it looks so much cooler on my character than my other gauntlets did. So without further ado let's go to Zer. So here we are guys, I hope you liked that little speed run where I went completely the wrong way at the start, that was a bit embarrassing. But here we are down in the little pits, and this is where I'd place Dead Orbit if I was the person that placed all the factions. But this place seems cool enough, it's probably my favourite place on the map. I have like one or two good places that I love to go, and that's the new monarchy area, and especially down here I just love going to it. And luckily Zer's here today, so let's see what he's got for us. Okay, okay, this is some nice stuff. So the first thing he's got is obviously a Titan Helmet, and the Titan Helmet is Empire. Bellicose or Bellisose. I'm not sure how to say that properly. But the perk to this one is aiming weapons while airborne holds you in place with full super orbs recharge melee. Okay, I definitely saw this about two weeks ago in Zer's inventory. Something's up here. This is a really bad drop. I'm not sure what the heck's going on, Bungie, but really fix what's going on with your game at the minute because this is the second time I've seen this this month. What is going on here? But next we have a helmet for the hunter and this is the Skyburner's Annex. So if you've seen the Taken Cabal, they kind of have these, uh, these masks right here and they look really really cool. I think it's like the Skyburners tribe or whatever the Cabal Legionnaires are. I'm not sure entirely what all their names are, but this looks freaking amazing. To die twice in a strange land. First by Rex's hand, then by yours. So obviously, yeah, it's taken theme, then that's what it means to die twice or something like that. But the perk to this one is chance to create orbs on heavy weapon kills. With a full super, orbs may grant special ammo. So this is all about keeping your ammo up and keeping your special, giving a nice flow to your character to consistently pack a punch into any enemies around you. Now let's move on to something else. So so the Warlock doesn't actually get a helmet this week, instead the Warlock gets a nice chest piece and the chest piece is Alchemist's Arraignment. So what I actually wanted to get was this when I first ever saw the Taken King loot drops or the exotics that were actually coming to year 2. And this is one of those things that I wanted to get for my Warlock. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting that, but I will be getting some three of coins. So for now, I'm probably not going to get uh, anything else apart from what we're going to see next. So this week's weapon, and I've been seeing this in so many videos, is the Thunderlord Machine Gun 280, as they all are with Zer. And the perk to this is this weapon fires fast and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. It kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time. Let's see what it has right at the end. Lightning rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately. So I've already read that out. But look at this for a gun. I am most definitely going to buy this this week. So let's just go ahead and acquire this and we'll discuss what else Zer has. So there we go. The Thunderlord. A gun I've been looking for for a while. We obviously have the Legacy Engram which is a year one weapon or a year one armor piece. And do not get these guys. I don't I don't know how many times I have to say this, but a lot of people still do it. They go ahead and buy these and expect a 280 weapon or a armor piece. And what they usually end up with is a 160 armor piece. I believe that's the highest that they can go in year one. So I just don't know why people still waste their money on this. This is a legacy and grand meaning year one level lot of light. It's not good and it's a waste of strange coins. It's double strange coins that you should be spending. Let's move on now to our curious. What we have is the glass needles. Completely rearranges all the perks that you get with your exotics apart from the main one. You have my best buddy three of coins which increases the exotic egg round drop so we are going to get that hopefully we can get some exotics for a nice exotic opening because that's something that I've been wanting to do for a while with next heavy ammo synthesis luckily Bungie and Activision put the rumors to rest that we were gonna have to pay for these or we could have the possibility of paying for these voluntarily in the future luckily they put that to rest because that's just stupid that's how you lose even 
and more of your fan base. Then we obviously we have the Sparrow upgrades which just make the Sparrow legendary and give it a nice little different coloured jet stream when it's going up boost speed. And then we have the two strange coins for a mote of light I believe that's the exchange rate or two strange coins for two motes of light. My voice is getting even worse as this commentary goes along. But yeah that's that's everything that Zer has this week. I do hope you enjoyed guys. Let's see what this Thunder Lord looks like on my character. So obviously there we have the Unseen Eye which is my Trials of Osiris legendary. Never going to put that to rest. But here we have the Thunder Lord. Let's see what this guy looks like on our back. So obviously oh that is nice. That's got that like really nice classic year one machine gun vibe to it that's why i love it so much and i'm gonna have a go at this in pve possibly record a live commentary this weekend as i always do when the iron banner is in town so guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to leave a like comment subscribe share this on social media for more destiny tips tricks news and updates in the community my name has been erupt and have a great day